What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I was able to go from losing almost $18,000 in my first six months of dropshipping journey to now making two to $400 profit every single day with one product using TikTok ads. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Wikowski and in this channel I'm documenting my journey of starting brand new dropshipping stores and trying to find my first winning product. So basically on the beginning of this year, 2022, I decided to devote most of my time and most of my money into building and trying to su succeed with dropshipping. To see if dropshipping really is that easy, especially in 2022. So. Like I mentioned before, for the first six months of me trying to build dropshipping stores, trying to make it big, I've tested probably 20 different products. I've spent like over $18,000 and I didn't make any money. It wasn't until a couple of weeks ago where I actually found my first true winning product and now I'm able to make two to even $400 per day in profit pretty consistently using TikTok ads. And in this video, I'm going to go into more details on what strategy I'm using to make it work for me. Now, in the first six months of my dropshipping journey, I mostly used Facebook ads to, to, to be successful. That didn't really work for me. However, in those six months or almost seven months, actually, I have been trying to use TikTok as well and it never really worked for me. I've probably on the beginning spent like $500, maybe even more trying to sell products on TikTok. It didn't never go anywhere. Again, until I started using the strategy that I'm going to tell you about right now. And of course, part of this success is me finding this actual winning product. And it's worth to mention that this winning product, I first found out about it and seen potential with this product on Facebook. And then this is where I decided to take it to TikTok and see if I can make money with it on TikTok and surely that was a great idea. So let's hop onto my computer and I'm going to show you all the numbers and then break down this entire strategy. So this is basically the store I'm talking about. I have started running ads to this store probably, so that was July, definitely July, maybe 15th, not even a 15th. So as you can see, it was like only literally a couple weeks ago that I started working on this uh, product. So 20th, was my probably first sale. Yeah, so the 9th, 20th of July, this is where I had my first sale with this store. So this is about one, two, three weeks or so. Three weeks. And so far I was able to generate $11,000, uh, $11,018 um, in sales. Today alone, I already had um, $181 dollars in sales. It's actually one order less because one order today came from me personally because one, I'm testing a new private agent. I want to see, you know, how fast I'm actually going to get the product and then test the quality of the product, etc, etc. But I'm also using a, a new tracking system with my TikTok ads. And that's another thing to talk about because when you're running ads on TikTok, what I've realized is that oftentimes people will see your ads and when they see your ads, instead of clicking on shop now button, they will actually click on your profile button, right? To check out your profile and then go to your homepage from there. And when that happens, a lot of sales don't actually get assigned or tracked properly inside TikTok's ad account. So for that reason, today I decided to invest in a tracking software called Hyros. I highly recommend it. It is quite expensive because you pay $350 for the lower uh, package, if you like, but it tracks everything. So if you see my ad right now and you watch it, and then go to my profile in even couple days later, decide to directly go to my shop. This app somehow still is able to track and see which ad you've seen first, which ad you decided to click on and everything else. It's, it's very advanced tracking uh, software, hence the price. But I think it's really worth it because right now for the past, what, three weeks, 
I've realized that whenever I was testing ads, the sales would go up. I had days where I had like $420 in pure profit from sales. And then I would the next day go into my ad account, check which ads did actually gave me sales. Again, a lot of sales were not even tracked. And then I would switch off the ads that were not showing any sales. The next day I would see drop in my sales because probably I have switched off some ads that did generate sales, but they were not assigned and showing inside of, you know, TikTok ad account. In my, in my head, if I can pay $350 per month and be sure that I'm not switching off the working ads and scaling them, then that's just going to be paid for itself. It's, that's no brainer at all. So that's what I'm using. It's high Ross app. I'm going to leave the link to high Ross down in the description. Highly recommended, but nevertheless, so that's, that, that's, this is why I made one test purchase today. It's what 1 PM, $181. And usually, and by the way, it's 1 PM in the UK, I'm running as to us, a uh, market. So right now it's probably middle of the night in the U S and I still already have sales. So usually most action happens in the next, I would say six, seven hours plus. Um, yesterday, again, just to prove you that I'm not just making this up, I had $700 in sales. And by the way, just to make it easier, I do have a spreadsheet where I track all my sales and fees and everything. So we can go uh, through that right now before we actually that, uh, jump into TikTok's strategy. So uh, like I said, I started running ads on the 20th. Uh, for some reason, I'm actually... Uh, only started tracking from 21st. It doesn't really matter either way. So the first day of me running ads for this product, this is uh, where I first started using this TikTok strategy. First day was a negative day, which is understandable because I was again, testing the products, right? So I lost $55, but then, and this is what's going to happen with this strategy. You will most often lose money on the first and the second day. But that will set you off to an amazing start to actually start making real money very fast with the right ads on TikTok. So first day was minus $55 of profit. And then as you go along, second day was $239 in profit. Uh, I had 16 sales, 11 single orders, five double or orders. Um, after the transactional fees and cost of goods, uh, again, that was 200, almost $40 in profit, which is 40% uh, pr profit margin, if you like, which is pretty high. Then the next day, um, the profit was $95, so went down. And this is what I'm talking about, because here I probably switched off the ads that were bringing sales, but I switched them off because they were not reported inside TikTok ads manager. Then the next day, as soon as I actually, um, you know, turned them off and actually started running new ads as well. This is where um, sales started coming in again. And then again, the next day I would switch off the ads and probably I have switched off the ads that were bringing sales, but were not reported and the income went down again. So that, that's, but that's just the, that's what, that's what happens. This is why it's important to use out like a third party tracking tool to just avoid those issues. So the first week of me running this pro, uh, this ads for this product, I have earned um, 600 pounds, which is about close to, I would say $900. Um, like I explained in my previous video, then what happened was that TikTok shut down all of my ads because apparently in the ads, I was using two sexual type of content because there was a lot of couple hugging, kissing, basically just happy couples all around and stuff like that. TikTok didn't like it. And so they killed all my ads. What I needed to do is to go back to my um, ads guy. So the guy who's creating um, my TikTok video ads. And by the way, I truly really recommend this guy because he really knows what he's doing. Thanks to his ads, I was able to make profit. And I say this with confidence because after I started using this guy, I wanted to test video ads from a different platform. So the different, the other platform I was using was launch ads, right? Launch ads or something like that. Um, launch ads. Yeah, that's the one. And when I did receive their ads, 
they were not performing as well, nowhere near as well. Like, I think I've received five ads from them and all of the five ads that I have received, I needed, I had to kill because they were not performing. Uh, but these guys, this guy's ads were performing really, really well. So going back to the report, what I needed to do is to go back to this guy and say, hey, we need new video ads, but this time less skin. Yeah, we don't want to show people, you know, laying in a bed and hugging or being on the beach half naked and, and hugging and kissing and stuff like that. It needs to be more gentle. So that's what he did. He created new ads for me. And so I needed to start this entire process basically all over again, right? Because um, now I needed to use new ads and stuff like that. So I started this process that I'm going to go through in a second um, again on TikTok and same thing happened. So first day I was losing money because I was testing. And then the second day, uh, while I moved on to the next step of this strategy, again, I made $223 in pure profit. Um, then the next day was a little bit slower because again, I probably switched off the ads that were bringing me sales, but they were not tracked. I like, it's crazy. Um, same happened the day after, but as I started then figuring out that, okay, I'm, I have probably start, you know, switched off the ads that were working, but not tracking my sales. So I switched on back on all of the ads and suddenly next day, my ads started performing exceptionally well and they, they, they still perform very, very well. So um, the day after was $267 in profit, 244, 246, 390, 362, 200, 380. Obviously you get slower days, you get, you know, a little bit better days. That's just what it is, right? You can't always have the best days ever. But nevertheless, this week alone, which was last week, um, I had 1,447 um, pounds in profit, which basically is, if when we calculate it and translate it or, or convert it to dollars, it's $1,755 in pure profit just one week. And without scaling, because if you see, take a look at my ad spend, I was spending like 200, 100, 200, 200, 300, 280, 330. Okay, here, um, again, yesterday I started testing new ads. Uh, basically what I decided to do is to take all of my, what I thought were winning ads, at least by looking at the uh, TikTok ads report. And then I have catted them a little bit and basically mixed some footages to see if it's going to perform. So I'm testing another set of new ads today, uh, but nevertheless, I'm spending very little money on ads right now. Nowhere near to what other people on YouTube are talking about, like $1,000 per day, $2,000 per day. So I'm pretty sure that I can easily get with this product to $1,000 in profit per day when I have the right tracking, which again, I installed today. Anyway, so you have all the numbers, you have the breakdowns. So what is this strategy? Let's hop on to... TikTok Ads Manager, and I'm going to create the new campaign and then talk you through of what I am doing differently than most people say here on YouTube. So we're in my TikTok Ads Manager right now. After I have all of my video ads delivered that I want to test, usually I go with five to start with. Depending on your budget, you could go with three. I go with five because I want to give uh, TikTok and myself the most ch chances of succeeding. So. I then create a new campaign. Obviously, the campaign that I'm creating is conversions campaign, right? So let's name this campaign a test campaign and click on continue. So I'm not touching any other options in the first setup of the campaign. I'm only choosing the conversions, putting the name. I do not touch anything in here. Then I go with continue. And this is what I do differently to most people. Um, that teach how to do TikTok ads on YouTube. Now, most people will tell you to choose your pixel and then immediately go with the complete payment as optimization event. Now, every time I did that in the past, in my first six months of, of, of trying to do drop shipping, um, and even past that, every time I would do that, TikTok would either not spend my uh, budget at all or very little, or if it somehow did spend budget because I used very broad audience, it would spend it extremely, extremely 
expensively. So the CPM would be expensive, cost per click would be expensive. I wouldn't get any sales. It wouldn't get me anywhere. So right out of the gate, when I was doing that, I was facing a lot of issues and I didn't know how to deal with them. So what I decided to do with this product and the other product that I was testing that worked for me exactly the same way was for the first day, I decided to go with add to cart campaign. Now, there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, it's a lot cheaper type of ads, right? Just like clicks campaign on Facebook, on TikTok, add to cart campaign is a lot cheaper than purchases campaign. The, the end goal is that the ads will be a lot cheaper. So cheaper cost per click, which means that your ads for that day will be shown to a lot more people. Now, what does that do to you? For you, it helps you for that day to see which of those five different video ads or three different video ads that you are testing is working the best because you want to find this one winner to start with. At least that's what I wanted to do, to find this one winner. Which one of those five videos gives me the cheapest add to carts? Not cost per click, not CPMs, but add to carts, the end goal. Which one is giving me the most amount of people actually adding my product to cart? When I find that out, this is when I then later on take this product and move to the next step, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Now, the second reason why you want to use Add to Cart is because, again, you're allowing TikTok to show your ads to a lot more people for the same budget. So this will help TikTok gather a lot more data to see which type of people are reacting to your ads the most. And for you, obviously, will give you also enough data to know which of the video videos ads are working the best. That worked extremely well for, for me. Then moving on, obviously, um, doing selected uh, placements only on uh, running ads only on TikTok. I mm, disable video downloads. So this is a common sense. Everyone does that. I leave comments on. I don't mind that. Um, and then when scrolling down, now this is important part as well, because most, again, people on YouTube will tell you to, to show your ads to broad audience, to go broad. Don't add any interests because apparently what most people say, TikTok is in such early stages that it will simply, it's not worth adding interest. But I completely disagree because when I did that in the past, TikTok would immediately spend all of my budget uh, and the ads would be really, really expensive, really expensive. So what I do instead is I like to steer TikTok into the right, in, in the right direction. So instead of just going broad, what I do is I make sure that I select all the people of 18 plus, And then when I go, to, I still go to interests and I find interests related to my product. So if I was, for example, selling dog products, I would find all the in interests that are, you know, um, related to dogs, as many as them, right? Usually I have between eight to even 15 interests here in one, uh, in one, in one ad group. And then after I have all those interests that are related to my product, I scroll down and I toggle on the target uh, car targeting expansion and click interests and behaviors. Now, this will allow me to still go broad, so allow TikTok to basically show my ads to everyone, but at least now I'm giving some type of indication to TikTok saying, this is probably the audience that will react to my ads the most, but feel free TikTok to go outside that and see if you can find even better audience. But that's what I think my audience will be. This worked extremely well for me, a lot better than just leaving, you know, the interests empty and stuff like that. It worked extremely, extremely well. So then when it comes to budget, when I'm testing with ads to cards, I, I go with minimum budget. So I go with only 20 uh, per day. Then I set this, um, actually I leave this, depending on the time of the day, when I'm getting close to end of the day, I set it to start the ads on the beginning of next day. But if it's fairly, you know, afternoon, early afternoon, I, I leave this uh, as it is because I want my ads to be start running as soon as possible. So after I have all of that ready, I click on next and then obviously create my ad. So add the video, um, add the text, Text doesn't really matter in my opinion. I usually go with, uh, you know, sale end soon or a massive sale, check it now, you know, get 50% off, like something that people probably won't even read. It doesn't really matter on TikTok. So 
after I have added my URL, added my video, added my text, um, here I usually choose shop now button um, instead of dynamic and then the re leave the rest as it is and then hit submit. So basically after I have this ad created, what you can see if when we go back to my ads manager is that, okay, so this is the test campaign that I'm talking about, right? Now, as you can see, we have created one ad group with one, I'm going to switch it off immediately, one ad group with one video ad inside this ad group, right? It's a broad ad group, but still with interests and added expansion instead of just going broad with no interests, right? So then what I would do is I would duplicate this exact same ad, ad group and in each of the ad group, I would insert the new video ad that I have. So if I was, was having and testing five different video ads, over here, I would have five different ad groups exactly the same ad groups actually, right? With the same interests and the expansion on, but each ad group would have different video inside it, right? Then I would let it run for a day, come back after a day to check which one of those video ads has the cheapest ad to carts, the cheapest ad to carts. When I find that out, this is when I come back to TikTok switch this campaign off, take this one winning video, create a new campaign, but this time not add to cart optimization, but complete purchases optimization. And this is when I would create five different, for example, ad groups with different interests in each ad group. But all of those ad groups would be promoting this one winning video. And then what you would find out is that after two days, let's say, of running this uh, complete purchases campaign, you would see that some ad groups are performing better than the other ones. So the ones that are not giving you any sales, you switch off. The ones that are bringing you sales, you keep them on. And then what I do is I duplicate them and then I start again testing the remaining video ads that I have with purchases on and with those winning ad groups. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's not too complicated. If it is, then make sure to ask me questions down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions or even create a follow-up video on this TikTok, TikTok ads strategy. So if you liked this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. I'm really curious to hear from you what you think about this entire strategy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you appreciate this type of content. And other than that, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.